Hey guys, so my next task is to start sorting out the interior. It's quite a lot to do in here, as you can see. It's in a, quite a state. I already have started taking out some of the things. So I've got the dash panel out. I've got the pipework out here. You can see the pipework's gone there. Um, the floors aren't fastened in um, the tunnel's not fastened in I need to get all this steering off everything, everything needs to come out all these little bits all these and they all need cleaned up um, and either painted or sprayed with some kind of galvanised look I think these are galvanized anyway so hopefully they should just clean up uh, so there's quite a lot to do here what i need to decide is how much i'm actually gonna go with this in terms of restoration really nice all these screws and nuts and bolts they're all rusty and they look terrible now do i buy myself a kit so that i can clean these with electrolysis and then dip them into hydrochloric acid and then from there I would put them into a, a bath and plate them either nickel plating or zinc plating probably zinc plating that would make a really good job of it but it's a hell of a lot more faff do I want to do that not sure yet what I am going to do is just take it all apart Get, get everything painted when, when everything's in bits I'll make that decision on how how much I want to, to to make it look sparkly and new again but so that's the job of the next week or so is just to get everything out of here uh, so that I can start painting the the bodywork so you can see this Lucas wiper motor I've already got the one off here that's fairly simple it's just two nuts and bolts hold that on Got to work out how these come off. I'm presuming there's some kind of bolt underneath here, but I can't quite see it at the minute. So I'm going to take these off, rub them down, and just spray them black. The air vents, these should be galvanised. I can't tell if, the, if they've been painted them or not, but there is rust coming through, so I might buy some kind of zinc spray to tidy them up. Not sure how I'll clean these up yet. Um, Smith's heater again it's in a real state so I'll work out how to get that off and find out what paint I need to, to clean this up um, steering wheel there's a thing it's in a right mess this uh, this will come off quite easy in fact it's yeah take that off now try not to break my nose doing this with one hand Oh, hang on. There we go. I'm back. Had to use two hands there. <sighs> so, I do have play in this. If you look at this, you see that? That's these little bearings here that you can see. So I need to get a bearing for that, uh, work out how all this comes off. I think I'm going to have to just take the whole steering unit out anyway because I want to get in behind here and paint it all in bronze green rather than this army colour that is on it at the moment. Uh, so there's quite a few nuts and bolts to take off there. I'm going to take all these pedals off as well take the pedal boxes out so that i can get in there and properly check everything's been tightened up clean these up as well probably give them another paint you can see that these are rusted already i'm gonna get this brake box off these are obviously captive nuts so we need to go to the other side and remove these what one two three four five six half inch bolts and this spring
two pedal boxes off. You can see the original colour of the bulkhead there is deep bronze green, which is nice, but this actually isn't original bulkhead for this car. The reason I know that is it's got the windscreen wipers coming through here and it's a 1969 car so that's wrong somebody put a different bulkhead on that so that's what it looks like without the pedal boxes on this side still got this accelerator mechanism to do which is just a few nuts and bolts here and four here and two there So that's the foot controlling dim dip. It's quite awkward to get off by yourself. It's two screws and nuts on the other side. So you have to kind of reach through from the other side and it's a bit of a stretch, but anyway, it's done. Okay, so you can see I'm struggling with this nut and bolt here on the bottom of the accelerator pedal. So this one's all right, but now this one here on the other side is just rounding off. So I'm gonna try an Irwin Easy Out. And this should grip this need to knock it on with a hammer and then try turning it from there. I had to resort to drastic measures there. I could not get these out. And normally you would probably just put the nut on and tack a weld on there, but I haven't got a welder, so I couldn't do that. And there was just no way I could get these out. So as you saw, I cut it off from that side and I'll just replace all these with new pieces. So that's the reason that wouldn't come off. These are obviously, this bit here goes through the front of the windscreen on the other side comes through there. These are threaded all the way down, so there was no way that was coming out. So I'll just buy all new pieces for this. Anyway, it's off. 
when it comes to removing these bolts that I cut off with a hacksaw, they don't actually bolt into this. So if you look at the one that came off well, it's a little rubber seal, and you can see there, the bolts go into here, but they don't go into here. They've actually got two screws in here, which you can take that off to remove that. So I have to do that, take that off, remove that, and buy a new one of them as well. So I'd originally planned to take these air vents off, but they look like a nightmare to get off. The, there's a nut under here, Let's see if I can show you that. But this nut here, it's so tight up against the bulkhead, I just can't get a socket on it. So I think the plan is that I might just end up leaving these on. To be fair, I'm gonna paint them black. I can probably brush paint around these. I'm struggling slightly to work out how to get the steering box off. I could see I've got these nuts and bolts here and there's some nuts and bolts on the top of here as well uh, to undo that. On this side, I've removed three bolts from this side, which makes it loose. You can see that, but I cannot get this drop arm off. And I need some kind of special puller, I think, to get that off. So I purchased a tool to get this drop arm off, which attaches to these two lugs here. But stupid me ordered the wrong one. I bought the one for a Defender and it's too wide so it doesn't fit on. So I've just made the decision that what I'm gonna do, I've tried to see if this will work its way out. There's no way I can get this out of here. 
I'm going to undo this bracket and this bracket and it'll give me the chance to paint underneath these and get these all painted up properly anyway. So that's what I'm going to do now. This is quite time consuming because I'm having to come around each time and try and put a spanner on the bolt and then hope it stays there. Go back around, put my hand through here and then put a socket on. That's that off. So what I tend to do is I'll put all these nuts and bolts back into the holes there, then I don't lose them. Still don't think this is going to come out of here. The box is leaking, you can see the oil on there, probably just the bottom seal. It's renowned for that, so it had to come off anyway. Yeah. Still no way that's going to come over there. I might have a quick go at knocking this now that I've got a better angle on it though. I don't want to force that off. I'm gonna take that off. So that's pretty much it. Bulkhead on the interior is stripped now. So I've got absolutely everything off. The only thing I need to do is when I actually come to sand it down and paint it, would be I'll be taking the windscreen out and I need to take these galvanized parts off here. There's just a few bolts on that side so that can get in there properly. And that's pretty much everything out from the inside. So the next video, you'll see me rubbing this down and painting it and we'll have a finished product on the inside. I'll quickly show you the other side. So you can see pretty much everything's off here. Needs a good sand down this and a good paint. I'll be able to get into everything here. The only thing left still to take off from this side is this accelerator linkage here. Two nuts and bolts, two nuts and bolts. So that's easy, the coil up here. And that's pretty much it. Then I should be able to get around and get in there with a the paintbrush and get it all done bronze green. So that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed that little strip down of the bulkhead. If you did enjoy that, hit the subscribe button so you can follow the journey of how my Land Rover progresses. And also, if you look up here, you'll see some other videos that I've done on coach painting, the outside of it, and various other things. You might want to have a look at them too. Okay guys, see you in the next video.